Hey guys, so what we have going on is Josh and I went on an estate call and we bought the estate, which is the house and the contents. Um, you know, very interesting is the contents are really cool. So I'm gonna flip this camera around and you guys are gonna be shocked, watch this. Okay, so this is just an overview of the garage. Now, Josh is on the way back to get a real estate contract from our office and he's gonna meet, meet me back here again. So we ended up buying the real estate and all of the antiques. Uh, the situation is this gentleman has bought off of us for the past 20 years, maybe longer. Um, and then he had gotten sick and um, told his sister to call me. Um, and so we came out, we worked out a deal and we're buying uh, everything you see, and it's just a phenomenal collection of art glass. There's uh, leaded glass lamp collection. There's Victorian brides baskets. There's carnival glass. Um, there's Handel lamps. There's all kinds of great lamps in here. Uh, some newer ones, but mostly old. I'd probably about 75% um, period antique lighting. And then there's stuff like this throughout everywhere. And that is absolutely stunning. So it's going to be fun, and I'm going to just do an overview of the entire estate with you guys. Um, and then as we pack and load, I'll uh, get some more. And then uh, this will be coming up here. Next week, we'll be cataloging all this um, on the burners.com sale. This is going to be a phenomenal sale coming up in a couple of weeks. And we're going to have a lamp, lamp, lamp collection that is out of this world. And you can't see back over here, but there's stacks of these over here. We went through all this. Um, yeah, it's just gonna be fun. Jimmy just showed up on the scene. He's got the first lamp in his hand. Uh, you haven't seen the stuff in the house yet. No, but I've seen a garage full of magnificent, best lamp collection I've seen. Isn't this fun? Yeah. <laughs> How often do you get a chance to go buy uh, 50 leaded glass lamps out of one collection and over half of them are actually period lamps? This is so cool. Oh, this is... It's, it's going to be a fun group. It's going to be fun to mess with. Uh, auctions coming up. Auction galore coming up. Yeah. yeah. Gonna, I don't even know how we're going to display auctions them all. plural, right? Plural. Well, here's the thing. I, it's going to be hard to display them all. We probably won't be able to sell like 20 at a time because probably. we can't get them all displayed. Yeah. There's, I've seen three or four of them. I'm like, oh my God, that's the best lamp I've ever seen. Oh my God, that's, that's the best lamp I've ever seen. <laughs> well, and there's all kinds in here too. There's period lamps and then there's some that are old, not as old, but he loved all kinds. We, I've sold Ron lamps for years and years. Like this dragonfly right here is not an old lamp. That's a 15, 20 year old lamp. Uh, but then you got a reverse painted uh, scene right here that's period 1910. Um, I mean, it's just, a, it's a great mix. And I love the Another art glass. I mean, really cool. gorgeous art glass everywhere. And there's all periods of art glass. There's some Duran and there's, there's uh, you know, newer stuff like an Orient Flume stuff. So I love that lamp Yeah, right there. Art Nouveau, um, gorgeous, gorgeous piece. And then you got stuff like this uh, that's throughout the collection, the gorgeous Burmese fairy lamp. Here's the biggest, uh, widest swung carnival glass vase I've owned. We've got a really wide, this is huge, this part up here. I mean, my hand going across it. Look at that. And look at the shade on this. Looks like a, a Quazelle or Stuban uh, shade. That's gorgeous. Uh, it's just gonna be a fun group. It's gonna be a fun to handle and I can't wait to show you the rest of the house here. And now that Jimmy and them are here, and uh, like I said, we bought the house too. So now we own this real estate. Okay, so this is the house we just bought. Um, it's kind of interesting because there's an old, old gas stove in there. Kitchen definitely has to get remodeled. <laughs> uh, but check out this. Like just everywhere you look, you start to see a glimpse of antiques. And then again, it's got to be remodeled. But look at the collection. Cranberry hangers. Here's a cut glass. That's an incredible cut glass. The Victorian art glass out of this world. Millefori vase in the back. Here's a big Duran vase uh, signed. That is gorgeous Duran vase. Victorian art glass. There's, cra there's carnival glass. There's spelter figures, uh, tables. I love this Millefori uh, Piece right here. This is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the peacock at the at the uh, peacock on the fence. Actually, carnival glass. The carnival glass is unreal. 
gorgeous, gorgeous carnival glass. And I, I'd show you more, but out of that case, but I'm gonna keep going through the whole house first. Um, there's pickle caster collection. There's cracker cracker glass collection. Uh, every everything everywhere is completely full. Art glass, uh, amazing amazing art glass collection. And then just look at the lamps. I mean these are incredible lamps, guys. Water water and cranberry uh, things like that is absolutely everywhere. I love this little cat. It's bronze. And then flip back around here, big mice and bowl in the middle. Uh, there's all kinds of fabulous art glass. There's cloisonne, there's cameo pieces, there's jade. Really cool stuff. And then this room, we gotta get the light on yet. Um, see if I can get it turned on. Where is the light? It's at the bottom probably for the light. Nope, light don't work. Maybe there's so, a switch over here. Maybe there's a switch. We don't know where the light is in this room. <laughs> There it is. Oh, now I got the fan running. Don't want that doing. Uh, you're Josh, you turn that fan off. <laughs> Blowing dust everywhere. Yeah. Uh, oh, wrong That's one. The there you go. I hit the wrong one earlier. Okay. This is so cool, though, guys. I mean, this is an estate, a collection that is untouched. Um, and you can tell that this has been curated for 40 or 5 or 55 years. I sold this lamp to him probably 20 years ago or 15 years ago. Uh, absolute gorgeous leaded glass lamp on an oriental bronze base. Um, and just look, everywhere you look, there's leaded glass lamps, bronze, there's paintings on the walls, uh, portrait plaques. Uh, here, look at this piece here, gosh, this is a gorgeous piece. See if it's signed. No signature on this one, but that is absolutely stunning. It's kind of a favril, uh, favril flair to it. Extremely gorgeous piece. Honestly, Josh, I haven't been in an untouched estate like this probably in five years or more, maybe seven. It's probably your first time like this. Jim and I are just talking. Like, well, it's my first yeah. time of, of this it's magnitude. It's not the first time of house and contents. It's the first time of house and contents that are good. That's oh, all. Every, every, yeah. every well, if you think about this, last Sunday we were at that house and every piece you picked up was yeah. broken, chipped, yeah. cracked. Yeah. This is the opposite. Yeah, and then, and then good. Everywhere you look, I mean, look at this table with the cherubs hanging all over it. This is fabulous stuff. And, uh, th and this gentleman, he, like I said, he's collected all, and he's bought off of us for, for 25, 35, 40 years. He's been collecting for longer than, than uh, you know, than, than I've been alive, but he's bought off of me for the last 30 years anyway. Uh, and that's what he said. He, he uh, called and said, hey, sell this stuff back to Jacob. I want, I want it to go back there and let him <laughs> uh, let him go with it. But right. everywhere you look, though, guys. I'm going to give all of you the warning. I know. I've seen this already. Jimmy's about going to carry that my out. pants earlier when I seen that. <laughs> I'll I hate snakes, and that one about, i tell you what, I about flipped over when I seen that one. Okay, so we're going to go upstairs now. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, you, you, this, what is it? I don't know what snake phobia, arachnophobia. So again, up here is the, it's very similar. Like there's little, little treasures hidden everywhere. Away. Uh, boxes here, all sorts of stuff. I love this piece. This is like one of my favorites of the whole house too. This is absolutely stunning. Uh, signed gorgeous art glass and we'll we'll get everything cataloged out where you guys can see it but again look at the the, the art glass shade on this one here stunning stunning shades guys uh, and there's lamps everywhere there must be 50 to 80 lamps could be more uh, I might have to get my list back out and count through it again to really to really do it all but there's there's just a lot of stuff Jacob I didn't break that one <laughs> they, well, there was one already broke. He said that the just one. Someone last week did that. And then check out this. Look at the loats. Are you sure? I mean, this is loats. Oh, wow. I, I think it's all loats anyway. I'm not going to say that with 100 percent confidence, but just incredible coral, uh, coral decoration on this piece. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, all the way through here. Look at the lamps. That's impressive. My friend in Alabama is going to see this video and say, Jacob, I want to buy all those lamps. That's funny. He knows who he is too. That's that's so fun. Uh, but they're everywhere, guys. Um, here's a cool shade on that one. That's a gorgeous lamp. Absolute stunning. Okay, guys. Here we go. This is another room. Uh, just gorgeous stuff everywhere. It's really funny. Is uh, the gentleman that owned all this collection? Um, he showed me pictures of his home several several times. First time I've actually been in here, but he has shown me. A multitude of times of his collection uh, over and over and it's just really cool and there's cameo glass like this I mean just absolute stunning stuff 
So we're gonna keep working and uh, hey, how long is this gonna take us to get packed out? So he was just I, looking at me, he goes, you tell me the three of us are gonna get this done tonight. <laughs> I said, yep. late into the night. <laughs> well, we're, we're not leaving until it's packed out. <laughs> it'll be, it'll what be time tomorrow. is it right now? It's three, 347. 47. Three, supposed to be taking my wife to her birthday dinner at six. You think I'm gonna make it? Uh, hey, won't you tell her come here? And I wouldn't pack, do that to her. Pack out with us. No, I already called her. Oh, okay. We're all good. Okay. We're all good. I called her and I was like, Any of the kids right, want to come help? Any you got anybody else you can call and help? Uh, well, Scout's working and uh, Deacon's got a bum arm. Well, I, I just got done mowing with Braden. I could have had him come, but I wasn't sure what was oh, going yeah. on. Give him a call, ask him if he wants to come help. Holy moly. <laughs> all right, I'm back out here. I want to make sure I film the bases with the shades before I load them so we can get uh, everything properly matched. So here are the bases with the shades, the right ones. I'll get them all put back together the way they are. Um, be very strategic about this. So there we go, there's more. There's more. More and more. There we go. Okay, here's our next row of glass. I just wanna make sure again, I can get everything rematched back up with bases on lamps and such. Uh, so all the reverse pans go back together. Just gorgeous stuff. I love the centerpieces and the perns and uh, all the Victorian brides baskets and such that are here. Absolute stunning group. Here's a gorgeous uh, chipped ice shade on a uh, French metal base, uh, maybe bronze mounts on here. Uh, this is absolutely stunning though. Look at the snow scene all the way around. Uh, early lamp. This is one, here's a top view of about 60 or 80. So this is the current situation. We've been loading for about two hours now and uh, the, the guys are running back and forth from the warehouse to here. And this is all the next group of lighting. It's uh, spread out through here. I love this guy right here. Man, that's got great color. Absolute stunning shade on that one. Uh, and there's some bronze pieces here, some different pieces. I like the art pottery base of this lamp. I'm not quite sure who made that, but that's a, got a great art pottery base. Here's our pile of boxes. And uh, next is we're gonna go in the house. Okay, I'm gonna start wrapping up the stuff in the house here next. And uh, we'll come back to you in a minute. What do you think, Mo? What you... <laughs> I don't know what I got myself into. Don't know what you got yourself into. No, it's a... Been there, done it. Done. House call. House call, baby. <laughs> Here's an interesting art glass piece. This one is signed. Um, uh, Terry Kreider, I think, is who made that one. Uh, cool, cool little box right here that's French. I believe it's Lalique, but I did not see the signature on it. Um, some more incredible art glass all throughout the whole thing. Uh, it's gonna be fun to keep, continue to dig through and get it all packed up. We're still packing. Here's some more of these lamps that we got out. This one here, I just put the shade in the box, but check out this seam. And this is a Victorian Gone with the Wind lamp, but I've never had this seam before with a lady and an archer and a dog. And the shade has the same seam on it. That's pretty spectacular. And Lucas just showed up. Lucas, what's your thoughts after walking in? Oh, well, it's a bunch of crazy stuff. A bunch of crazy stuff. Pretty much. And we bought the house and the contents. I know. I don't know what we'll do with the house. <laughs> I know, we'll sell it. It's kind of an interesting day though, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Here's some more of these lamps up here. Gone with the winds here, the lions on them. Pretty cool. Eight. All right, this is the eighth load out of here. And we haven't been packing tall because it's all <laughs> fragile with no lids yeah. on the boxes. And we're still going, it's now, what time is it, 11, 10? No, uh, uh, almost nine. Almost nine. So we got time. All right, so almost nine. We could get at least two more loads out. It's only been six <laughs> hours, Jacob. I know. He's standing. I know. He came a little standing. shorter. He's grass all earlier. morning. A little shorter right. than I was. He's peacocking his board and walking on the chest. I love the dragon, the dragon handles on that guy, though. Look at that. That guy. That's pretty cool. Oh, he's yeah. pretty sweet. <laughs> this is how we got our load. This is a one load or one high deal. There's probably, well, there's probably like 40 or so lamps up in there right now. But Thank goodness right. we're not too far from the... Where huh. we gotta go. Hey, look at that little match stick, match holder right there on oh, your no, face. Yeah. It, I, he set it down. He's like, <laughs> it made it. <laughs> they carried all the way out here. They carried all the way out. <laughs> all right, we'll see you in a little bit. All right. Lucas is still packing upstairs here. Sweat. Jimmy and it's Jimmy. Hot up here. It's hot up here. It's like 100 degrees up here. But uh, that's all right. We gotta keep, keep going. We're getting closer. Now it's uh, what is it? 9:30, 10 o'clock range. What time we got? 
time is it? Nine on the dot. Nine on the dot. Joe just got here. He's working his third job of the day. <laughs> he just got done chefing over at the restaurant and uh, decided to come back over and give us a hand. So that's pretty cool. So our current situation is we got all these boxes all gathered out through here. We've got some windows there. Lucas and Joe have been carrying them and sticking stuff down. Jimmy and Josh are not back from the warehouse yet. Um, as soon as they get back, we're going to load this stuff out. Uh, we haven't eaten yet. We're still hard, hungry. I think we're kind of getting hangry, Lucas and I are anyway, huh? Joe, do you eat? Not yet. Not yet either? Huh? We're all, we all, none of us have eaten then. All right, that's where we're at. Uh, hey, we're looking for a pickup. Uh, here we go. It's this one. This is the house. <laughs> is that it? This is it. <laughs> they got a really narrow pathway to get back here too. Bring them on. Bring <laughs> Here we go, last loads are coming. I ain't going that far. Last loads are slide. Lucas is going to slide the rest. Huh? Hey, there's JoJo. Looking good, boys. Looking JoJo good. JoJo showed up. Load number nine. Hey, no stacking on top of each other, okay? Just yep. side by side. Perfect. We'll let Joe stay up in the truck. <laughs> what we have again is Josh is getting back into the attic. <laughs> it's back. Look up here. Oh, we got to get all that out too, you know. Every bit of it has to come out. It's packed. Jacob, I don't think you can get another box in there. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> well, we bought the house and contents, Josh, so we're going to have to get all that out. <laughs> See what's in there. That one says towels. You can have that one. And pillowcases. <laughs> well, I'm not going by what's on the box. I bet what if, what if towels means... Uh, <laughs> lamps. Lamps or uh, those uh, speed Car sacks. Carnival glass or whatever, right? Yeah. Yeah. We got a pretty good loadout. I'm done for the day. All right. Did you check in? So we're back at the warehouse. It's in the... Whoa, we got lamps falling apart. <laughs> Table. Tabletop came lamps off on anyway. The lamps on the ground. Looking like a fool with your lamp on the ground. Here, turn that table over. There you go. <laughs> oh, these guys are still energetic. I'm done. This is so crazy. Here's, a, here's, a, here's an overview of what we've packed. This is just the overview. We'll, we'll dig in this with you guys together later. Um, and it'll all be coming up for sale over the next month. We'll be selling out of this for probably a month or five weeks. Um, it'll be mixed into the sales coming up. But here's uh, no. all this. Jamie just grabbed the cranberry. Oh, here's a here's a little bit of the lamp shades. There's some really great shades in here. There's some newer ones. There's older ones. There's a mix. Um, but overall, there's some really fun pieces. We found some Duran. Uh, we found Lotes. We found Stuban. Uh, Galet. Um, I did not see anything signed Tiffany, but there's some things that look like they should be Tiffany. We'll check into more. Uh, just incredible group. I mean, I love I love a lot of these shades. Um, <laughs> there's just fun pieces. This is fun, and they all have bases. You know, we got everything marked and numbered, and um, this is all all part of it here. Here's a Chinese vase. It's not an old one, but it's got got good look to it. Um, there's there's some art in there, I like some of the art, some of the paintings, and then coming up through here, uh, a lot of floor lamps. Here's some more shades. Like I said this, I mean, like this shade here. This isn't an old shade, but it's a good shade. These are very high quality. A lot of these were made in the '80s. Um, and then there's like this one here is a little bit later. That's probably 1990s, 2000s. But then right beside it, this is an early shade, a period shade with with a great color, great patina. And then these boxes all through here are all part of it still. And then around the corner we go and we got all of this still uh, part of it all through here, all the way down. Um, again, we, we have to just the next step. What we do is after we get this part here done, uh, all out of the house. We have to go back to the house and get another, probably two more loads out of the house, but we got the most of the majority of the value out. I don't like leaving value overnight after we buy something, um, just in case somebody would vandalize or something like that. But here's some more shades over here. A lot of fun shades in here, a lot of leaded glass pieces. And then there's some great Gone with the Winds. There's, I think those one Gone with the Wind lamp I showed you earlier in the video is the best I've ever seen. Uh, all the smalls all through there. And they're just finishing up with the truck on this side over here. And uh, Josh wanted to go get the rest. He said, let's go tonight. I said, we're done. We tried. <laughs> they tried, no. He, I think everybody's pretty tired. 
think I might hit up I mean, Waffle House. Jim, like Lucas is saying Waffle House. Dude, I'm up for anything. I haven't eaten eat since that one sandwich earlier. So. The awful waffle. The awful, awful waffle. waffle. Sounds pretty good. Last box coming off the truck. Got a film jug. Getting it off. Here we go. Is this that one we found upstairs? No, this is it. Is this it? Is this the one with the Duran shades in there? No, it's already no, in. No, it's already in. Oh, okay. It's, okay. It's right there. This is a really cool box. Check this out. I think these are Duran. I might be wrong, but maybe they're Quizelle. These could be Quizelle. I'm sorry. I said Duran. These could be Quizelle. Let me get over here to the light. Check these out, guys. These are fabulous. Absolute stunning uh, art glass lampshades. We got bases in there for them. Threaded uh, feather. Pulled feather, threaded threads all the way around. That's pretty cool. A pair of these in there. So, if you want to be watching the auctions over the next uh, month, we're gonna have a lot of this stuff going in uh, over the next month. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed another pre or episode. Uh, today was different. We started this morning out. We were having an auction and cleaning out the the, the stuff we bought out of that estate on Sunday, and we ended up. I got right here. enough tables cleaned off to empty the van so we can go do this. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the bells haven't been unboxed yet. Those are still in boxes. No, they're in boxes. They're sitting on the table. Right? <laughs> they're sitting on the table. Lucas oh, had to postpone a whatnot sale and uh, jump in there and help us tonight. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for watching us all. We appreciate everything you guys uh, say and do out there. So, follow us, subscribe to us at Burner Brother Antiques, at Heart of Ohio Antiques, and have a blessed day, guys. Thanks. Mammal's over here photoing away. Mammal, any good word today? Yes. Um, forgive and forget, and it'll make your heart happy. Forgive and forget, and you'll make your heart happy. There we go, guys. That's the word today from Mammal.